today we will determine the silica content of two different material we have for this purpose we have collected the material from two different screen one is the white screen and another is the dry screen this uh, ash we have found from the white screen and this one we have found for the dry screen firstly we have taken the 200 gram materials first then we have burnt it in the furnace at that 900 degree celsius for 8 hours after burning we have found this ash so to determine the silica content firstly i will take this sample in the conical flux This is the white skin dust, so I will take one dust. In the conical flux. Next, I will take the dry screen dust in another conical flux and this is the dry screen dust Now this is the two different dust and we have taken this, we have taken this and now we will add the hydrochloric acid here and with the concentration is the 37 percent. So now we will add the 50 ml hydrochloric acid here. First one we are pouring this hydrochloric acid in the white skin are ash so we are pouring the hydrochloric acid in the white skin are ash and it looks like the yellowish color and it is also liquid enough for stirring. We will stir it for some time. Then we will add this another sample of hydrochloric acid here. And this is the dry skin or dust. Look, uh, this dust is uh, not the normal as usual because this dust it is very much liquid and 
uh, and easy for steering but if you have a look here it is not the same as the before uh, there is no any liquid here and it is and it is like a, a gel like structure so maybe there may be the reaction here and hydrochloric acid reacts with this dust and the precipitation has found or the solid like structure has found here now we will use this solution for heating in the water up to 75 degrees celsius and after heating we will add uh, at, uh, 100 ml water in it then the solution we will dis uh, the solution will be discarded and after the then we will add another 150 ml to rinse the solution again and then we will filter it and this is the process by following this process we will determine the silica content Okay.